I'm going to teach you how to do this interweave for paracord lighter wrap using 550 cord and 95 cord and a base knot of 18 parts 7 bytes. So let's get started. So look here, I am going to actually start this knot uh, with an under two and follow the strand to my left. So because this knot is starting with a pineapple on the left bite boundary or where this starts, the strand starts and ends, this is going to be considered a pineapple diamond herringbone knot. So I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number seven is an under. Now I go over two, under one. Now we're gonna go over, under, over, under, following the strand to your right. Now we make a herringbone bite. We're following right here, the, the strand to the right. And we're gonna make a herringbone bite and follow the strand to the left. So let's see. Sometimes I have to use my eye to uh, see how this knot's going to work. So what I did was over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under two, over two, under one. Two right here. Under one, over one, and then underneath that cross, making a pineapple bite. And we 
you can use the last strand going in that same direction as a guide to when to start switching up the coating. Or, since this knot is dressed somewhat well and neat, I could also just look here and use that as a guide to when to start using uh, the diamond pattern. All right, so. All right, so now that I'm coming up from the pineapple knot, I wanna use the knot that I've already tied and see how the diamond knot interweave uh, if it's going to go over or under. I feel like it's going to go under because the strand that I'm following isn't under, but I'm not going to say that's correct for every interweave. And I'm not even 100% sure if that's going to be correct for this interweave, but I know it's working. And you go over two, under one, following that strand to the right. And it's an over under pattern. So when you get to this pair, you're going under because you're following that strand to the right and you're gonna split it just like that. Go over two, under one. Now we make another herringbone bite follow that strand to the left. And you're gonna go over one, under one, split a pair, and over two. Over one, under two. Now we're gonna look at this herringbone and look at this diamond pattern coming from the herringbone bite boundary. So, um, coming from the herringbone bite boundary, this strand right here is an over, under, over see that pattern we're going to try and maintain that pattern while making this knot hopefully i don't mess up it's over two i jumped the gun explaining that but you'll see what i'm talking about it's going to be over two under two Over one, under one. Over one. No, sorry, over two. Over one. We're going to go over one. And put a line through that cross or that X, whatever. Now I'm gonna go over, under. Over two.
over one, under two. Now look, we're at that um, diamond transit. We're transitioning into the diamond interweave. And looking, coming from this pineapple knot, it's an under two right here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. under two but this is going to be under one green and one black now we're going to go over two which is going to be over two green under one after that over one under two and if you start getting confused on why it's an over one or an over two or whatever, you can see we're starting to build a pattern here. And this is, um, you see how this black strand is under? That means it's going to go over the next black strand, which is what I'm about to lace. So it's going to be over one, under two, giving us that column coated path pattern but we're not close to done yet so hang on that's an over I'm sorry uh, yeah it's an under two over one under one over two under one herringbone then we make that herringbone bite and it's going to be over this and that, these two bites, these two scallop edges, and you're going to go under two. So. Alright, now we're following the strand to our left, like always, it was over these two green, under these two, one's green and black, now it's going to be over one, under one, over two, under one. And then it's going to be over one, under two. Over one, under two. <clears throat> Let me double check. Yeah, we're good. Now we're going to go over three over the black, green, and green. Over three, under two. Over one, under one. Over two, under two. One, you're going to put your lacing needle behind that X and under that strand. So you're going behind an X plus one strand now. It's going to go over under, following the strand to your left, it's going to be over two, under one, over 
one, under two. All right, so I know it's an under two coming from the pineapple, right? And we're now in this diamond portion of the knot. So this strand goes under, over one green, under the black, and then over that next green and under one. Oh, excuse me, I'm wrong. Back up. All right, so since it's under this portion of the diamond pattern, the next portion, it goes over the black. So it's gonna go um, at this point when it's under two, you're gonna go over three, under one. Following that strand to the right, split this pair over one under two. Over one under two. Oh, excuse me. Over one under one. So you can see over two under two. another herringbone bite which means we're gonna go over these two green bites these two scallop edges and under two like that following the strand to the left again over one under one Over two, under two. Over one, under two. Now looking at this diamond pattern, look at this strand right here. That strand is an under on that side, so we know on this side it's gonna be an under. And that's why uh, we're gonna just go under two over three, under two. under two, over two, under one. Over two, under two. Over one. Raise the X with your needle or go behind it, lifting it up. And then under that one, so it's lacing needle behind the X plus one now. And we'll follow the strand to your left. Over two. Under two. Over one, under two, because that one, that edge right there is an over, so we know this side is going to be an over two. So the, this lacing strand goes under two. Now, since this is an under, this black strand goes over that black strand, so it's going to be an over three. 
under one. Over, yeah, it was under two, now it's over two, under one. So coming from the diamond, it's going to be over three, under one, over one, under two, over two, under one, over two, under two. And we're going to make a herringbone bite over these two green under the next two, over two, under one, over two, under two. This is going to go over this black strand, so now we're going to go under this black strand. So it's going to be an over two, under one, over one, under two. Over two, under one. From here is going to be over two, under two. Two, and then you go behind that X. Under, so it's going to be just like before. But this time, before we, we put the lacing needle under the X, it's going to be an over two. So over two. X plus one strand. Now we're going to go over two, under one. Because we're following that strand to the left. Over two, under two. Over one. Two. Now we're going to go over one green, under one black. No, nope. sorry. It's going to be over three. Yeah, because you see, that's an over and that's an over. That means the strand has to go under in the middle. So it's going to be over three. One, two, three. Under two, over one, under two, over two, under one. Over 
to under two. Good, and now we can see this herringbone pattern. That's an over and then that's an under. This, that's an over right there and then that's an under. And since this traveling working end strand right here is going over, we but we already knew this is that we go under that strand, giving us that herringbone pattern bite boundary. So it was under two, over two, under one, over two. Under two. Over two. All right, so now that we are doing the transition into the diamond pattern, we are going to go over this black, over this green, under the black in the middle, over the green, under black and green, like that. So what I just did was over two, under one, over one, under two. Now it's going to be over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, and behind that X with the black strand, just like that. So now we go over two, under one, over two, under two, over two, under two. So we're under two, we're gonna go over three, under two. Over one, under two, over two, under two. two, under two. Again, we're making that herringbone bite. And we're gonna go over these two green. two. Now we're going to go over two, under two. The last half cycle is always my favorite. When you get into tying these more often, you'll know why. So it's over two, under two. Over two, and when I say over two, it's going to be over black, green, under 
black. Excuse me. Let me go back. I don't know if you saw all that. All right, so we're we were doing in under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, so on until we get to the diamond pattern, which is going to be an over two, under one, over one, under two. Over two, under two. Whoa, excuse me. Coming from this diamond pattern, it was supposed to be an under three. Then it's an over two. Two. This is one strand right here, so it's going to be over two, and then to finish it, we are locking that in under two, and the knot is completed. As you can tell. This is a true Turk's head, Kostanat braided band rings, cylindric, cylindrical tubular braid or knot. There's so many names for the, these types of knots, but it is now completed. It is symmetrical. Both ends start and end in the same place. And the next part of this knot is to take it off the mandrel and slowly tighten it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if this knot was a little too complicated for you, let me know and I'll post another video of uh, just some regular... some regular coated paracord lighter wraps all right thanks for watching have a good one